Hi guys, thank you for joining me in this your podcast, the Litton Report. Today we're gonna talk about the first day of the preseason. Today was the first preseason games, like the trainings began two weeks ago or so. Uh, but today was the first time that there was a game between two different teams, no inter squad, and it was between Aguilas Ibañas and Toro Celeste. And so many known players were in that game. For example, Carlos Martinez, uh, you remember him with the Cardinals, was uh, pitching for Aguilas, and also. Uh, Joanny Cespedes is playing with with Aguilas. Cut prospect Alexander Canario was in the outfield and number four in the lineup today uh, with Aguilas. And we're gonna talk about that and some other news players that are joining the different teams. We are 12 days away from the Lidon opening day, which is gonna be on. October 15th, so it's gonna be Saturday, and this is the the day of the week when non-players like all-star, we don't all-star players, even though we don't have like an all-star game, but you know what I mean, and began began like joining their teams like Cesar Valdez. Uh, you remember him being the closer for the Orioles in 2021 was with or oh, 2020. Oh, I uh, yeah, I think it was 2021. That's how that was with with the Orioles closing. Yeah, he is um All Star starter, like an MVP caliber starter with. Say he joined the team today in the practice. Also, some known players there, Eli de la Cruz, which is one of the Cincinnati Reds' top prospects. He was the MIMP player of the year for the organization. He was there also with say And one thing you have to know is that the different teams do their let's call it fall training in different locations like some things do it in their own in their own venue the own stadium but there are other things that use the different Dominican Summer League uh, stadiums that are here in the Dominican Republic like for example let's say is playing in the Seattle Mariner complex also uh, the Estrellas are playing in the in the Orioles complex and I think oh yeah also the Escogido is playing in the Yankees complex. And then Toros, Gigantes, and Aguilas are playing in their stadiums. So that's one thing I think you should know. And like with the different informations that were like showing up today, uh, Jordani Valdespin, you remember him like one of the top. Uh, pinch hitters with the New York Mets. He joined Escogido today. He is going to be his first season as the as a Escogido player. He was traded a couple of months ago. And also uh, the left-handed pitcher Anderson Severino, who made his debut this year in MLB with the Chicago White Sox, joined the team. And those are the those were the big integrations today for uh, Escogido. Also, going back again to the game in which uh, 
Aguilas defeated Toros with a score 11-4 was the win for the Aguilas in the first Ledon preseason game. There were some players there performing like Joanny Cespedes was in the lineup for Aguilas, Alexander Canario, Melky Cabrera also is was there. And like the whole lineup for uh, Aguilas was in the next way. So first battle was Juan Carlos Perez. You remember he was a World Series champion with the Giants in 2014. Also Melky Cabrera was a uh, battle in the second playing in the first base. Joanny Cespedes was uh, the designated hitter. Alexander Canary was playing in the center field. Ronnie Rodriguez was in MLB with Detroit Tigers. He was playing on second base and batting fifth. Sitz was a Nery Tavares. He plays on a little few games with, with the Red Sox. Uh, he was batting seats and playing as a left fielder. And Julio Rodriguez and not the Mariners. This one is a catcher who uh, he was with the Cardinals. And first in Lidon, he was with Escogido, and then was a transaction last season, and he was traded to Aguilas. And in fact, uh, Julio Rodriguez was playing double A this season with the San Luis Cardinals, and he had pretty good numbers like in um, A23 OPS in 68 games, 11 home runs. For this. And he was also in in the lineup, but, but in seven. Uh, eight was Junior Tilling, a third baseman. In, but in nine was Luis Gonzalez in the shortstop. And Carlos Martinez, the tsunami, was the starting pitcher for the Aguilas. And he threw four innings and two thirds, 4.2 innings. And basically, he only allowed one one run. The first three innings by Carlos Martinez were scoreless, and then in the fourth, the Toros scored three runs with a double. It was a John Nunez a three RBR doubles with the bases loaded. Um yeah, that was that was it for for Carlos Martinez who threw four innings and two thirds, four runs allowed in his first start in the preseason. They're gonna be another games in, in this week between the uh, different teams. And now I'm gonna talk also about two players who were signed by the Escogido to foreign players I, I mean um, there was uh, two pitchers, two relievers I'm talking about Taylor Cole and Josh A. Smith who threw in MLB uh, couple of seasons ago he was with different teams and one of them was the and uh, the Red Sox. I I remember him being with the with the Red Sox. And yeah he's from Florida and right now alongside Taylor Core who featured in Mexico this season but also, in the beginning of the season, was in AAA for the Red Sox. So there are six players, foreign players, by Escogido right now. Seven. So it's Peter O'Brien, who was the first baseman for Toros in the last uh, three seasons, 
um, also relievers Pat Rotol or Ryan Dool, and also Matt Hall and Umberto Mejia. The latter two are pitchers, and those are the basically the foreign players that Escogido have signed for this season. And sometimes pitcher a uh, team announce players, foreign player signings, but sometimes some of them are not for the beginning of the season, and that that happens, and they let you know when when that's the case. Lisey have six players, five players, uh, foreign players signed. It. And the big name is Tristan Casas, the first baseman who are doing well with the Red Sox. And it's going to be the whole season with Lisey and Lidon. So another big reason to watch Lidon this season is watching Tristan Casas. I'm looking forward to see uh, his progress, his development, facing like MLB pitchers and Lidon and also some veterans. Who are kind of tricky, especially throwing breaking balls and off piece pictures. So that was let's say Aguilas so far is the team that most players, foreign players, has announced eleven. Of course, they are only allowed having ten in a in a roster, in the weekly roster, because in don't you use weekly roster uh, and daily roster. It's not like an MLB. So, Joanny Cespedes, Tyler Nevin, also third baseman, Joe Van Meter, who she's repeating, like Uneski Maya and Ronnie Elias, also. Those are pitchers. David Holmberg, you remember, he was in the big leagues, and also three more pitchers Nick Whitcren, Donnie Hart, and Jesse Chortens. And last, Geoff Harley. Those are the uh, foreign players announced by Aguilas. So, two first basemen in Tyler Neming and Flan Childer, a left fielder, Joanny Cespedes, and eight pitchers. Those are the foreign players that Aguilas have announced. And now let's move with the net team, which are Strays Orientales. They have announced nine players. Some of them are known, like they were pitching MRB recently, like Daniel Ponce de Leon, who was with the Cardinals the last couple of seasons. Also, uh, Edward Olivares and Luis Campuzano. Olivares is an outfielder, and Luis Campuzano is a curve. And besides those, Three big players can also uh, mention Jacob Hernandez, which is a lefty pitcher, Spencer Horwitz, a first baseman, Aaron Leisure, a uh, left pitcher, left pitcher, Chase Chogar, a uh, right pitcher, Sean Anderson, and Chance Kirby. Those two are right pitcher. And following with the foreign players, the Toros have announced. Addison Rosser, Mike Fears, Tim Peterson, Paolo Spino, John Nagoski, and the catcher, Brian Navarreto. And last but not more, or not less important, uh, the Gigantes, Dulcibao has announced Eric Filia, Henry Rutia, Tito Polo, Kevin Sigris, Jorge Martinez, and Logan Undersex. So, those are the players that have been announced the foreign players by the 16 in Lidon and tomorrow there will be more preseason games and I'm looking forward to make another episode talking about that so thank you so much for listening if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel to the podcast I encourage you to do it because I'm gonna be releasing material like content in a bi-daily basis in the next two weeks before the season begins. So thank you so much for listening and have a good one.